Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of What The Tech! The show that puts the most popular mobile devices and apps through a series of unconventional tests so you don't have to. I'm your host John Lim and with me today are two of the most esteemed tech hits in Malaysia. We have Lucas from Laoyap.net and we have Effie from Amans.my. And for our first episode, we are going to put to the test one of the most important factors when it comes to users choosing their mobile phones. Well Effie, what do you think that factor is? For me, it's because I'm fat and I have fat fingers, I have to have big screen so it's easier for me to type. Hmm, makes sense. And Lucas, what do you think that factor is? Uh, I'm a cam whore, so my camera has to be good, so my Instagram is better than yours. And Lucas, I, I think you've got it spot on. I mean, you know, choosing the right mobile phone disease has nothing to do with making phone calls, but rather how good the camera is. Which is why we're heading to Action Paintball Park to test out the capabilities of two camera phones. Why Action Paintball Park? Well, what are the better arena to shoot each other, isn't it? Yep, and besides, that's how we do things on What The Tech. But before we head out to the field, let's take a couple of minutes to talk about the latest news in consumer tech. Well, it's been close to a month since the Nexus 4 was announced, and I think by now we've all read the reviews and the tech specs about it. Um, it's got Gorilla Glass back and front, it's got a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon quad-core processor, but Lucas, why do you think people are so excited about yet another Android phone? It's not yet another Android phone. It is the Android phone. It's the original, the Nexus phone from the mothership Google. How is it possible not to be excited by this phone? And Effie, the Nexus 4 succeeds the previous phone, which is the Galaxy Nexus. And why do you think people should be excited about the Nexus 4? Because it's probably one of the most gorgeous Android phone out there. And uh, there's a lot of Apple envy among Android users. So the Nexus 4 is probably the phone that's gonna make it on par with the Apple device. Mm. And of course, the Nexus 4 comes with 4.2 Jelly Bean. Um, well, I, I don't know whether you guys have played around with Jelly Bean, have you, Lucas? Uh, I played around with it uh, when we had a Nexus 7 in for review. But uh, other than that, my phone doesn't have it yet. The update's just not there yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is one of the major advantages of having a Nexus 4, isn't it? That is true, yes. Yep, it comes with 4.2 already. So, you know, you don't have to worry about any upgrades later on. And of course, the Nexus 4 comes with an 8 megapixel camera, and which I'm sure you guys will test out once it arrives in Malaysia, isn't it? Yep. And, and when do you think that is? Well, according to uh, Laoyat.net, they say that uh, the, the, the LG fan page was saying that it will arrive before Christmas. It will arrive before Christmas, if you can see. So right now, we're heading out to the Action Paintball Park to test out the cameras on two devices, the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the HTC One X. Well, Effie, Lucas, you guys ready to shoot each other? Yeah. No, definitely not. Well, it doesn't really matter because we're going out there right now. So we're here at Action Paintball Park in Bukit Jalil to test out two camera phones, the HTC One X and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Alright, so Lucas, you got the HTC One X, you have the Samsung Galaxy S3. Alright, cool. Like, let me just hold these guns, right? Yeah, let me just hold these markers. Yeah, yeah, just, just give it. Yeah, okay, or, see. You guys won't have markers today, alright? And you guys today are going to act as war journalists. So the first mission is to take a photo of all the team members. The second mission is to take a video while you're running across the battlefield. And the third one is to take a burst shot of someone getting shot. Two objectives to paintball. The first is to shoot the water bottles on the opposing side. After that, you have to capture the flags that are on your own side and bring them back to base. Are you guys ready for paintball? Yeah! Woo! All right, let's go! Okay, so the, my secret weapon for today is the HTC One X. The best thing is that I have 99 shots continuously and not just 20. So for me, I'm just going to hold and pray I get a good shot.
just like the uh, HTC One X, the Galaxy S3 also comes with a burst mode up to 20 frames per second. But I'm trying to do something different here from what Lucas is going to do. Is I'm going to use the front facing camera which is about 1.9 megapixels. And I'm trying to find the best shot. And the winner of today's paintball challenge is FEC! <laughs> Give yourselves a big hand, man. It was excellent. Um, and well, the losers, they got shot up all for nothing. Uh, well, Lucas, FE, how was the whole experience of, of using your phones in the battlefield? It's scary, like, I think. Them scary. It's intense. <laughs> right. Um, well, intense and, you know, it's scary and we're, just, we're, we're all going to see the results of your photos and your videos as well, all in the studio, So, which is where we're going to now. So we're back from Action Paintball Park after what has been a tiring game of paintball between Effie and Lucas. Well, Effie, your team won. Hey! <laughs> yeah. uh, and, you know, so how was your experience uh, using the camera phones on the field in such an extreme environment? Lucas, what, what do you like about it? It was hazardous to my health, but uh, I enjoy shooting uh, video and then taking pictures while shooting video. I mean, it's uh, it's one of those cool things you do. I mean, if you can see here, I captured someone running across the battlefield. Hey, looking good there, looking good there. You <laughs> bit, look like it's very posed. A bit bunchit though, but it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, and Effie, I mean, what were the main challenges of handling a, a camera phone on such a, you know, busy environment? Uh, the same experience as Lucas, it's very challenging, you are just dodging bullets and stuff. But what I realized from using the camera phone is actually you, the, the video quality is not as good as say a normal video camera. You have rolling shutters effect and also, although it comes with a burst mode, you have to wait for a few seconds to do another burst. So you might miss a few vital moments while the action is going. Right, so I, I guess this is why, you know, like professional journalists and professional war photographers, I guess, you know, they have these huge DSLR cameras, you know, and huge uh, professional cameras, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And um, I, I guess the takeaway from all of this is that, you know, uh, the HTC One X and the Samsung Galaxy S3, they're, they're pretty good on the field, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So cool. I think you would recommend this to, to all your readers, how well it is, the, the cameras. I mean, is it one of the better ones out there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's one of the better cameras I've used on a phone, easily. Right, and what about the Samsung Galaxy S3? It's probably the best uh, picture I've seen so far. I think the, there's not really a really big difference between One X and uh, Galaxy S3. It's all up to what your preferences are. So let's recap the results of our camera phone test. Both phones are equipped with an 8 megapixel camera that records full 1080p HD video. The HTC One X, however, is able to take an impressive 99 shots in burst mode, which is great for fast-moving action sequences. The Samsung Galaxy S3 has an expandable memory slot for you to capture more photos and videos. It also comes with a 1.9 megapixel front-facing camera, which is perfect for those who love to take pictures of themselves. All right, so um, that brings to the end the first episode of What The Tech. And we'll stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to put through a, the phones through another series of unconventional tests uh, with these two guinea pigs or the esteemed tech kids in Malaysia. That is the official line that I'm supposed to say. But until then, you can tweet us at our Twitter handles and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, when you tweet us, you can hashtag it at what the tech. So until next episode, what, what the tech? tech? <laughs> Looking for a smartphone but too busy to visit the DG store? Don't worry about it. Just visit us online at shop.dg.com.my where you find the latest smartphones at the best prices. And best of all, we'll even deliver it to your doorstep. For me, uh, living in Malaysia, and I move around about quite a bit in uh, a bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>